want to tell you a story about Millie the Millennial and her grandfather, Vinny the Vet. Vinny the Vet was a veteran who served in World War II. He used his GI benefits to get a good education, allowing him to join the middle class. He liked college so much, he went on to become a beloved tenured professor. Millie was very inspired by her grandfather's stories and wanted to follow him into academia. Talking to other educators though, Millie became concerned about her future. Adjunct professors worried about paying high debt loads with low job security and poor wages. She wondered what changed in education financing to end its economic promise. With the GI Bill, the government gave grants to, for tuition and living expenses for education, allowing students like Vinnie to graduate without debt. Over time, this changed with tuition rising and private bank loans increased in importance. Student loans don't go away in bankruptcy and the pressure to repay is a huge cloud over the heads of students. For the banks, however, it's a sweet deal because they don't have to gather deposits from savers to issue loans. Instead, they just they simply create new money with a few keystrokes. Is there anything that can be done about this money creation privilege that favors bank profits over students' needs? Millie asked her grandfather, and he talked about how Americans paid for the revolution and civil war. Continentals and greenbacks were dollars created by the government instead of banks. Imagine if we reclaimed the money power and used debt-free dollars to finance education. To learn more about monetary reform, please head to monetaryalliance.org and sign the petition to create a just money system. We can put students and educators before bank profits and restore education's promise for a more prosperous future. Let's make Millie's future as bright as Vinny's was. Thanks.